Hey you guys, it's your girl Stephanie Charlena Marie. Welcome back to Charlena Marie Lifestyle. As you can see, we took a trip to English Gardens, one of my favorite nurseries. One thing I like about English Gardens is that you're always going to find some sort of sale. Here we are viewing some herbs. I really wanted to tap into herbs this year. I felt that it's important to like grow some things um, that that's actually edible. English gardens have like such a variety of color of um, plants and flowers. I love looking at the flowers. I haven't actually got into that yet, but here we go with the plants. This Chinese evergreen, I already have one of these at home and it's a beauty. I was thinking of getting another. This fiddle leaf fig tree, I love this tree. Should I get it? Did I get it? Well, you just have to wait and see. This is the video for my sunroom reveal. I just had to pick up a few things from English Gardens first and then after I got my items, we're going to run home and get straight into the sunroom reveal. But I hope you enjoyed our trip to English Gardens. So if you're interested in my sunroom reveal, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, here we go. So here is my sunroom. Look how pretty. New lamp. That's my heater. Okay, look at this corner, progress. Okay, so this is my ponytail plant. English Gardens, of course. This is my footstool from, where did I get this footstool from? Uh, what do you call that place? Uh, drawing a blank. Home Goods. This is my, you know, chair. It's the same chair that was in here over the rest of the year. This is from um, Wayfair. And these pillows, I believe, are from Wayfair or Overstock. They're by a brand called Sumbrella. And it's a double-sided pillow, but I have it on the cream side. Here, you know, I have my herbs, my basil, my table that I purchased, or no, that was actually um, sent to me um, gifted to me by Wayfair. My other chair. And as you can see, look at my uh, bell peppers, you guys. Look how beautiful they are. Growing so well. I love to see it aloe vera plant, candle, other side table that I received from Wayfair. And look you guys, look at my table. I love this table for this space. This table to me just brings a certain amount of elegance to this room. It's larger than the wood table that was initially in this space actually um it's wider and i don't necessarily think it's longer it's just wider what i do like about it is it's glass glass has a way of elevating your space it also brings um a sense of um space and so it provides negative space even though it's something in this area clearly is a huge table right and you can appreciate this beautiful rug that I'm actually in love with. Um, 
and then you know that's my couch my place where I love to sit and on this table I repurposed some things over that were from over the um, fall winter I did not want to go and repurchase new things for the entire space because I didn't think it was necessary I wanted this space to be homey inviting and um, a sense of calm a sense of peace and I wanted it to have a lot of plants and I believe I definitely achieved that but this time I actually did something different I don't only have plants in, in this area I also purchased um, herbs this here is a what is it spearmint so this is a spearmint bush and this over here is rosemary out here smells so good it's not overpowering but it's just a smell of freshness um, and it's not just too herby it's just a, a smell of freshness and I love that I love um, plants how they and herbs they actually purify the air they keep certain insects away even though this is enclosed and I don't get insects insects wouldn't even like it in here if they attempted to come in here so I'm definitely in love with it I'm just loving all of the greenery in here um, it's just very relaxing and everyone has to do what they love to do in their space my space I um, like it to be structured but not structured um meaning i like there to be you know some type of order i like things to be a sense of class but i also like my spaces to be lived in and so i believe that plants and pillows and adding different textures definitely help your place to achieve that lived in look look at this baby over here this is called a fiddle leaf fig tree and it is very tall I definitely love it I haven't found out what I want to do with that cream vase down there um, but it's just there for now I didn't know if I wanted to actually put flop tall flowers branches and so it's just there um, also, I have my um, water can and my mister because I do like to mist the herbs and plants out here. But this fiddle leaf fig is a whole vibe. Look how thick and luscious these leaves are. It's just definitely a thing and I'm here for it. This over here initially in the last video I believe I had some branches from outside and then I had to be realistic I said Stephanie are you going to go outside and um, get branches and spray them down for bugs and put them in this vase every week because the thing is I did not want to put any other um, a water in that vase because it was so tall I didn't want to ruin it and so this is the option that I chose I removed the vase and there is my flower pot it's elevated off the ground and this is the fiddle leaf fig tree with this with this um, current um, planter in this tree this tree stands about five three right but this tree on its own can go grow up to be about 10 foot tall it does like bright areas and as you can see my sunroom is very bright I do have some of the shades pulled down for privacy and just overall for the sake of this video but it's definitely a vibe so I want to hear in the comment section what you guys think about this space Before, you know I had this um, dark um, painting of like two buildings it looks it looked very Frenchy 
here I just have something very abstract and um, muted and simple and that's what I wanted for this space something that was nice to look at but just minimal and I just received this black lamp over in the corner by Wayfair I will link it I mean sorry from Wayfair I will link it and the other thing that's standing here is my heater I leave this out here at all times because it seems like at night it just gets a little breezy out here sometimes and so I always have my heater but I think this is a straight moment it's just so pretty to me and I like that light out here because sometimes if I'm out here and I'm reading or I'm eating or I'm just relaxing I do like a little light and so I believe this provides adequate light and it's very interesting to look at and this floor lamp is I'm speaking about I'm sorry this floor lamp is very modern and once again that floor lamp came from Am not Amazon what was I going to say Amazon Wayfair and Wayfair um, sent that to me from the tried and true program and so I do have to rate this lamp the lamp is very different and um, I like it and I like it for out here it just adds a little touch of home for me and I'm definitely here for it and so this is this area here table and once again this table was from Wayfair all of the herbs on my table are from English Gardens as you can see we went to English Gardens earlier today and um, it was a whole thing I love English Gardens if you have an English Gardens in your area try it out if you don't have an English Gardens if you have like some type of plant nursery outdoor nursery that has plants check it out and once again, what I like about going to a smaller establishment like in English Gardens is that they, the, the staff is usually or the employees are usually like well versed about plants and herbs. And so they can help you to decide what is good for your particular needs. So it's good to know where, your sun, where the sun in your home rises, where it sets, that type thing. And they'll really help you to decipher what plants are good for you. And they have a lot of options and they have a lot of low light plants as well. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, let me give you a little pan of my room. If you hear some noise, that is my central ear unit sorry about that but it's just a whole thing and I'm here for it I'm going to go sit in my favorite spot before I leave and you can tell me how you um, like it from my favorite spot so when I'm sitting in my favorite spot in my sunroom this is what I see and I think it's a whole vibe You know, once again, I love, love, absolutely love the greenery in here. I feel like if the greenery wasn't in here, the room would feel very um, sterile and empty. I feel that the plants just really elevates this space. I do love them. guys home decor is truly a lifestyle and it's a lifestyle that is sustainable for you so like I always state trends are good if that's what you're into but always stay true to your design style implement things that you love and if you don't have an actual design style that's okay pick out a few items that you are in love with and working work around those items i love plants 
And so in each room, you're always going to see a plant in each room. And so nature is the basis of all of my rooms. And so once again, I love my space. Every room in my home is very re refreshing. And so that's a win for me. I always like neutral colors, but I also have like an eclectic vibe and I'm definitely here for it. Your color palette, your overall decor should really make your heart happy. It should really be a sign of happiness for yourself. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Welcome to Charlene and Marie Lifestyle. See you guys next week. Bye.